This programme is sponsored by Triona Design, the Donegal Tweed and Visitor Centre, Ardra, County Donegal. Visit trionadesign.com. Welcome to Donegal TV's new weekly programme. I'm Cathy Donaghy and every week we'll be bringing you stories from all over Donegal. We'll be travelling all over the county to bring you news of Donegal people, places and things, making waves at home and abroad. Coming up on this week's show, we catch up with the Donegal Diaspora for their annual celebrations in London and we'll bring you the highlights from the Tip O'Neill Award. We'll also be going behind the scenes for the Sound Man of the Year Awards. Moving first to the United States, Donegal TV was in Philadelphia when Brendan Boyle, whose father Frank is from Glen Column Kill, was elected to the US House of Representatives. We caught up with the new congressman as he celebrated his historic victory with his family. So without any further ado, I introduce to you the congressman-elect from Northeast Philadelphia and Montgomery County, Brendan Boyle. One historic night. Donegal eyes were smiling when Brendan Boyle did the near impossible and against all odds became a congressman for North East Philadelphia and Montgomery County. On this gorgeous day, right here at home, the voters of the Lucky 13th have decided to send this proud son of Philadelphia to Congress. Yeah. I'm realistic about the challenges the real problem of a wealth gap that is greater today in our country than any time before, the real challenge of the fact that middle class incomes are lower today than 15 years ago. But despite those dire statistics, despite that bad news, I have absolutely no doubt that in this country we can turn it around just as we have in previous eras before. What we have here is very special. Think of even the people who are in this room tonight, the people who are part of this campaign, immigrants and sons of immigrants, grandchildren of those who fled the Holocaust experience, Indian immigrants who came to Philadelphia wanting economic opportunity, hardworking men and women of organized labor who support their families and just want to be able to work with dignity. All of us together, teachers, neighbors, police officers, firefighters, those who, chase, who trace their family tree back to the Mayflower, and those who trace their family tree much more recently. All of us believing that in this country, even with our challenges, anything is possible. It is that optimism and idealism that I have and that will bring with me to Washington, D.C. Brendan's father, Frank, from Glen Colum Kill, worked hard as a street cleaner in a Philadelphia subway station to give his sons the best chance in life. And voters took the Boyle story to heart. So much so that Brendan beat off stiff competition from Marjorie Margolis, Chelsea Clinton's mother-in-law, who had the backing of former US President Bill Clinton and his wife, Hillary. We are here because of one man, and that is the future congressman, yeah. the congressman-elect from Northeast yeah. Philadelphia and Montgomery County, Brendan Boyle. Brendan did what was told to us was impossible. He won a race that he was initially down by 32%. He, in the very first poll in June of 2013, Brendan stood at 17%. Marjorie Margolis Mazvinsky stood at 49%. We had these highly paid Washington, D.C. consultants who told us we couldn't win. They even talked about maybe Brendan should get out of the race. Well, Brendan, he labored on, he kept the faith, and he won tonight. Yeah. Reaching people voter by voter, I'm really just trying to build a coalition of people to 
uh, support what you're doing. So really door by door, uh, event by event, just really reaching voters uh, one at a time, really. That's that's really where it's at. So. Myself, on behalf of my wife, that, you know, that passed away a year ago, uh, and uh, we're very happy that the two boys won, and my wife Eileen is looking down at us all tonight, you know. Voters were impressed with Brendan Boyle's track record. I think it's important for everybody to get out and, and voice their opinion on uh, key topics and concerns that happen within the market or, you know, within your area. I mean, only you can make a difference by, you know, voting. And if you don't take the time to come out, vote and participate and, and voice your opinion, then you're leaving everything on the table for somebody else to make that decision for you. He's done so much for the community and you can go to him with any problems and he'll help you get through all the red tape for this in the city and he helps you he helps the people out with their problems a splendid job which gave him great training ground to now go and represent this district in congress so if you care a lot um, uh, you have to be in it for the right reasons and if you care a lot you ultimately can make a difference and Brendan's uncle and aunt have even higher hopes for the new congressman. He's going to be in Washington, he's going to be senator next, and he's going to be president then. <laughs> next step is president. <laughs> for Brendan, his Irish heritage is never far from his mind. Will now be the only member of U.S. Congress with an Irish-born parent. Uh, I've always had deep interest in Irish affairs. Not just the, the situation in the North, but also Irish affairs domestically. Uh, so the fact that the Irish community in America, but also the Irish community abroad, will have someone in American government who is an ally and sincerely cares about these issues um, is something that's important to me and I, I, I look forward to being able to do. This David and Goliath battle may be won, but the feeling is strong that one day Brendan Boyle might just go all the way to the White House.